Hey everyone, welcome to Daily Dose. I'm Chris Riley, and have you ever wondered why an AP and a PA chest X-ray looks so different? I like to think of X-rays as similar to visible light because they're on the same electromagnetic spectrum. So if we think about light and casting shadows, that's essentially what an X-ray image is. And with that in mind, let's think about shadow puppets. When our light source is further away from the hand, the shadow it casts is smaller and sharper, more similar to the size of the actual object. But the closer I get with this light source, the bigger and blurrier this shadow becomes. And that's essentially why the AP chest X-ray is going to make everything bigger and blurrier as opposed to the PA chest X-ray. The anterior posterior chest X-ray, or the AP chest X-ray, is shot typically from about three feet away from the patient's chest. This is typically done for our sicker patients who can't walk, and the X-ray receiving board behind the patient's back. This image is going to be bigger, blurrier, and you can't actually distinguish if this patient has cardiomegaly or not on an AP chest X-ray. And this is in contrast to our PA, or posterior anterior chest X-ray. This is more for our stabler patients or patients that can walk or get wheeled over to the X-ray room to get this X-ray done. So this is done about six feet away with the patient facing away from the x-ray source and their chest up against the x-ray receiving board. So when those x-rays go through the patient, it's creating that smaller, sharper image where you can actually make a diagnosis like cardiomegaly. The heart is going to be more consistent to the actual heart size because the heart is closer to that receiving board. To learn more about chest x-ray interpretation, check out the chest x-ray fundamentals course over at mrap.org.